Okay, this is going to be session 3 on Lightbot. So, to get to Lightbot, in the address bar type in lightbot.com. We scroll down. Uh, select Lightbot Codower. Again, depending on the device you're using, so if you're using an iPad or iPhone, select the iOS option. If you're, select, uh, if you're using an Android device such as a tablet or a phone, Android phone, select the Android option. If you're using on, if you're going directly online using a desktop or PC, this is the option I use. Um, so for me, it uploaded straight away. However, if you have an option, well, a message saying, okay, you need to enable Flash Adobe Player, just click Enable and then it will open up this screen. So I'm going to press Play now. And then today we're doing loops. So we get to loops, press play. So we'll start off with the first one. So the whole idea of loops, okay, is that it keeps running over and over again the same instruction. So over here we can see we only need one set of instruction, which is basically every time we go forward, we need to light up a square. So that's gonna go in here. Forward light up a square okay and then over here I'm going to put p1 so this is our program one okay or procedure however this isn't going to work and I'm going to uh, explain why so I'm going to press play now it's only done it once because p1 okay it goes down here it goes forward lights up the light however we need to add the instruction over here asking it to go back and then that's where the loop comes in. So over here I'm going to ask it to go to P1. So the idea is that we'll go P1, which was over here, go forward, light up the square, then over here it's asking it to go back to the main program. And then the idea is that it will keep running in a circle and we call this a loop. So if I press play now, okay, you, can, you can see it completes the instructions okay, for this level. So it goes forward, so we start off with here, here. So P1, it will come down here, it will go forward, light up the square, then this last instruction will ask it to go back to P1. And then P1 will ask it to go back over here, and that's where we have our loop. So let's try with the next instruction. Okay, it's the same idea. So over here, okay, we're going to this one P1, so it's going to be over here. So we're going to ask it to jump forward, light up the square, and then once we finish, we need it to ask it to go back. Okay, and then here it will ask us to go again back over here to our function or procedure, and then that's where our loop comes in. So if we press play. There we go. Okay, let's try the next one. So this one's a bit tricky, okay, um, you should try and plan it out. So I'm going to call this one P1, because you can only call it P1. Then over here, okay, I'm going to ask it to go forward. Then I'm going to ask it to light up the square. Then I'm going to ask it to turn left, okay. Then I'm going to ask it to go forward again. I'm going to ask it to jump. At this point, we'll jump down. Okay, and then light up this square here. Then we'll ask it to jump up again. And then I'm going to add a P1 there. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is have a go yourself. Okay, the loops. Um, level is quite difficult so you are going to have to plan out your instructions you have to think very carefully okay about where your next instruction is going to be okay remember as always take your time there is no rush okay good luck